I started writing when I was about four. I wrote my first poem, um, it was about rabbits. When I was a little girl, I'd just started at school. And all my life, I knew that I should have been a writer. I was determined to be a writer, but somehow I never could quite get it right. And I thought that to be a writer, you had to be like Leo Tolstoy, or at the very least, you had to be like Jane Austen or George Eliot. And that's how I tried to write, you know, very serious, maybe a little bit pompous, um, quite grandiloquent. And so although I had very good stories to tell, I think people found them a little bit irritating to read. You know, I'd tried everything. I'd tried Mills and Boone, I'd tried um, non-fiction, I'd tried poetry, and I wasn't getting anywhere. And I thought, well, this is no good, you know, I'm going to give up on this writing. I'm just going to write for my own pleasure. And in a way, that's what enabled me to find my voice, because what I found was that really, I'm quite a funny person, and my voice was a comic voice. And so, having quite a good story, what I found was that the way to tell it was the way that I would speak, if I was just talking to my friends and having a really good gossip, full of bitchiness, full of nastiness, full of put-downs, and also quite a lot of humour. And I found that that, in the end, strangely enough, was the voice that worked for me. My new book, We Are All Made of Glue, is set in London, but also draws on those global stories. So essentially, it's a story about bonding. It's a story about a number of different bonds, a, a marriage which is slightly unbonding, and the narrator, Georgie, who then befriends a rather eccentric old lady called Mrs Shapiro. And as the story develops, we realise that Mrs Shapiro isn't quite who she pretends to be. She has a secret, and the secret leads us into some rather dark areas of European history. But because it's, it's quite a serious book, it's also quite a light-hearted book. So although it's about bonding, it's also a little bit about bondage. However terrible something is, if you can joke about it, if you can turn the darkness into a joke, it's not quite so terrible anymore. And so, although in a way, um, humour as a literature um, doesn't translate, Yet that need for humour, that need to be able to find the light side underneath the dark side, I think is also a part of our, our human condition. And I'll finish there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.